By clicking on this video, you've already confirmed a couple of things. One, you're a gamer, clearly. Two, you're on a continuous quest to extract any bit of performance you can to aid you in your gaming experience. Three, you want to know which is the best NVIDIA driver for performance. I'm going to explore that. And four, you're awesome because you're watching my videos. Because in today's video, I'm comparing drivers 522.25 versus 528.02 against the latest driver 531.79. So sit down, strap in, let's go. But let's get to those numbers. Before I get to the numbers, you'll notice that my numbers are a little bit different. I normally install my drivers with GeForce Experience modified. And the reason I do that is to capture gameplay. But because I was installing a whole bunch of drivers, it's just so much simpler just doing a straight driver install, custom, no GeForce Experience, no HD audio. In fact, that's what I suggest. But I don't have that option, unfortunately. But let's get to it. So, uh, yeah, I just mentioned, um, just quickly, um, if you want to uh, download an older driver, all you do is go to the NVIDIA drivers page. I'll link it in the description of the video. And then you just scroll down a bit and you look for older or beta drivers. And then you can download older drivers like that. But all my games are tested at medium settings with the exception of Returnal. Um, my laptop is under spec for that, so I tested at low settings with FSR set to balanced. All my other games are tested at medium settings with FSR 2.0 or 2.1 used on the quality setting. I only play single player games, so all, my ga all the games I tested are single player games, explicitly single player games, open world third person. Your results may vary if you play online multiplayer games and then lastly i've got a gtx laptop so obviously your results may vary if you're on an rtx platform right guys uh the first driver i tested was 522.25 it's actually quite an old driver it's from about september or october last year and you'll see uh the results aren't bad but there was artifacting, especially in the latest, um, in The Last of Us. The later games, uh, yeah, it's where you see the limitations of the older drivers. I'll just show you. In The Last of Us, you can see there's artifacting over there. And then also just over here. So I don't recommend older drivers. Um, I'd say if you're going to use an older driver, use a driver from this year, not a driver from last year because they're starting to show the edge. But at that... So over nine games, my total FPS was 602, and then my average FPS per game was 66.89, which isn't bad. And then when I add up all the 1% lows, I get to a total 1% low over nine games of 449. Divide by nine, and that gives me an average 1% low of 49.89. When I divide the 1% lows by the average FPS, my stability percentage for this driver is 74.59% which isn't bad but as mentioned guys newer games you're going to start noticing artifacting so i don't recommend being on an old driver like this then that brings us to our second driver and this has been my favorite driver this whole year well not the whole year you'll see but 528.02 fantastic driver really good one percent lows it's been my go-to driver and I don't test on online games, but apparently, according to at, at, at another channel, Alchemy Tweaks, this driver has got fantastic latency. So it's got very good stability, and it's also got very good latency. So very good driver, this. So over the nine games, my total FPS was 599, divided by nine, and then my average FPS per game was 66.56. And then, same with the 1% lows, add up the 1% lows, and it gives me a total 1% low of 451 over 9 games. Divide that by 9, and then my average 1% low is 50.11. And when I divide the 50.11 by 66.56, the stability for this driver is 75.28%, which is 
which is fantastic. So this driver has got very good low late or very good latency as well as very good stability in terms of 1% lows. So guys, if you're playing online games, this is the driver I suggest for you. But if you're like me and you play open world third person, blah, blah, blah games, single player, the latest driver is the one that I like. So over the nine games, my total FPS was 600. Divide that by nine and then my average FPS was 66.67. Do the same thing for the 1% lows and the 1% lows were slightly better with this one. Um, over the nine games, my 1% lows were 452. Divide by nine and my average 1% lows were 50.22. So when I divide the 1% lows by the average FPS, it gives me a st stability percentage of 75.33%. So you can see this marginally does take the cake from 528.02, but for online, people playing online games, 531.79 apparently has been reported to have terrible latency. So if you play mainly online games, I recommend 528.02. If you play single player, open world, third person games, I recommend the latest driver. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button. If you haven't subscribed just as of yet and you're still watching, now's the time to do so. Other than that, guys, it's people like you. Have a fantastic evening. Cheers.